Dude, no, he's not going to scrap that. Look at that car. All right, just got the word that this lady wants to come and pick up all the personal items, which includes all the pictures, all that stuff, tons of photographs from the $10 storage unit. I'm meeting her right now. I'm actually like a little bit late, so I'm going to rush over there. gonna try to film it obviously if she doesn't want to want to have it on film I'm gonna respect her wishes but I did get asked by a few people if we were gonna film the return of the items and so I guess at this point the answer is we're gonna try literally I told her a meeting place to do it in public just so she felt comfortable and I gonna just her son said that maybe she broke her arm recently, so I'm gonna just transfer all the stuff into the car for her because the boxes are actually very heavy. Hello. Are you in the parking lot? I, I am in the parking lot, yes. All right, I'm in a green taxi. Oh, okay. I'm next to a white car and a white truck SUV. Okay, I'm gonna just pull up next to you and then should I just put the stuff in the back of the taxi? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, it'll help you, yeah. Okay. Thank you. How are you, Mom? Hey, how are you? We're just going to put these in there, all right? Just these boxes here, that's it. One, two boxes and then one picture. because she does have a broken arm and she didn't get out and talk but she was like thank you Tucker so much thank you not really a reaction per se but mission accomplished uh, mission accomplished what can I say we just keep doing this so anytime we find stuff I, you know I try to contact the owner or the previous owner but that was all of her two sons photographs yearbooks awards newspaper articles other documents there's birth certificates and stuff in there too so however and whatever she does with it that's her you know prerogative but at least it made it back to where it's supposed to be so now we can get on with the day and we got musty coming in from pa today in a little bit and then we're gonna go and shoot some of this movie so beautiful day living the dream one successful mission down already what a legend this guy is what are you thinking what is it you gotta get your boy bandini dude over there because i just put four quarters into that summer's point and it so didn't and, and it, it didn't did, work and then it flashed my license plate this is the fifth time Why not you i knew i put not in the right change the last one. time Dude, don't go through that one because if i don't have easy pass you need to have it for yeah, that they try to force you into getting it now like think about florida oh they got me you know what i mean it's not <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of vlog footage here today. Day two of actually shooting the movie. Um, this is gonna be a very long process. We have a tiny crew of just us four right now working on it. And here we go. Meet the director of photography, the man himself. Hey everyone. What's your plan in all this? What's your role in all this? So, I don't know, Tuck's got me with this camera he bought me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to use it, we're gonna figure it out. Cause you know what, you just go and you go to abandoned places where there could be crazy people in the woods and you just shoot what you gotta shoot. That's real. That's how it goes. Nah, he's got the baby, he's using the red helium. He's got it set up on the, what is this called? The uh, Crane 3? Crane 3S. From what brand is that? I can't even pronounce it, but it starts with a Z. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I know that, yeah. I've seen that before. Here's the top of the case. I think it's just like Zion or Heon, Hyon, Hyon, maybe. Zion or something like that. Zion. Yeah. yeah. That looks good though. Yeah. I think uh, we're good to go. You can just set it down like that. I'm uh, going to. Because it's nice and soft there. Okay. Hopefully it'll work. You should put the seatbelt on maybe. Yeah, put her in the seatbelt. Nah, that would scratch it. All right, so we're in the backyard. This is day two. Day, official day two of filming. The second day that we tried to film, we got a uh, location got, we found on the location, so we had to reschedule. So here's, I'm gonna show him some of the props that we have. It's a huge freaking sickle. So that's this. what we need. Look at this prop, Robbie. So like the cult leader would be in a red and black robe? No way, With right? the sickle. <laughs> Yo, how'd I know this guy had a sickle though? It's so good. It's so good. We need like a little sickle and I was like, no little sickle, boy. We got the real sickle. Look at that. Yo, this thing is the sickle. And the lady I bought it from is out in Virginia. And she was like, my grandfather was a legend in the field. And she was like, he would sickle down the whole field in like an hour. That's what she was claiming. I believe it. And I was like, you're kidding me, right? 15 bucks. That thing is priceless, actually. <laughs> yeah, Fine piece of yeah that's the shot's priceless, dude. Ooh, not the sickle. <laughs> not the sickle. She it's was the claiming shot. that this was third generation sickle in her family. Like, this was old <laughs> sicky. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, she wasn't getting anything else out there. This was like miles in the middle of nowhere, dude. Like, <laughs> so thing. far out. Dude, you should cut the grass with that thing this year. <laughs> imagine people, people be like, whoa. Imagine people out there looking Can't at believe all this good that. stuff. You got snowmobiles. <laughs> you got motorcycles. This is for the film, but we, I, I never even told you because it doesn't run, but I was thinking the kid could be having this and like when he's investigating, he would ride around on this. Yes. Look how nice it is. Yeah, yeah. It's a mocha. All right. But uh, it doesn't run though. What do you have to do? I don't know. It's actually really nice. 60 bucks, Robbie. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Can you believe it's real? It's really cool. Could you Dude. imagine though if you just cruise it on this? I bet you could get a start. 2,000 miles, that's it on it. It's basically new. What they do? Not remember how to take it inside the garage? I have no. It was in the yard. Yeah, that's why they were selling it for so cheap. This is this is <laughs> creme de la creme, right, boys? <laughs> this is Did nice. You get gas in it? No, it's good to go though. Couldn't you see me though, like just cruising on this, like yeah. with a surfboard too? Yeah, yeah trying to. Do it. <laughs> I think it's nice. All right, setting up the baby. Are you feeling stoked about this film? I am. I've been thinking about this location for, well, since we saw it. Uh, <laughs> it haunts your every night, every thought, right? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a little crazy. I mean, you couldn't set one up better. It could cost you a couple hundred thousand to get that location set up again. I think it's to a million. Is that the baby, baby? It's pretty good. I mean, it holds a whole lot more weight than I was expecting. And I tried that one, and I tried the the DJI one, and that one held much better. 
the only downside is just setting everything up, but with everything, it just takes a minute. Is this how the real indie filmmakers work? Yeah. Take some notes, kids. Are you sure they don't have people setting things up? Uh, <laughs> Look at this map, though. The real, real low budget guys? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they set them up themselves. No, the real low budget guys don't have that map. <laughs> the, 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 the real low budget guys don't, yeah, don't have that camera, no. usually. It's the that that makes a difference. Did they tell you? I like that camera, Robbie, dude. Me too. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. You're gonna need a bigger boat though than your card yeah. for that. <laughs> yeah, what uh how many how many megabits per second on that uh, card? It varies. It varies depending It'd be on like the thing. a an average maybe. I'm not sure off the top of my head, I can't give that to you. Not as many as yours, surprisingly. <laughs> really? Yeah. So the thing about this though. Is this guy's got like, his. Time, yeah, the neighbor's just yeah. out here. Yeah, he waved and smiled. Did he? Yeah. It's cool. He saw cool. this camera and he was blown away. Oh my god, he was loving it. Almost every time I used a gimbal, he's already out of brown. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I have never. But then when you get that nice 15, 20 seconds of pure smoothness, that's why people come back for it. Maybe I, I guess I might have. It wasn't level enough where yeah, I was doing technical it. Technical difficulties at the shoot. And we'll try it out of hand, I guess. It was just working though. All right, just got back to the house after a hugely successful shoot. Um, we're only going to add some footage in to the vlogs. I think I said that before. And we're going to hold off on a lot of the other footage for a behind the scenes uh, DVD special, basically. So when it comes out, we're going to have that too on the special features. What are you thinking? Movie comes out next Halloween, yeah? You think that soon? That's a good claim, right? Or no? Year? Well, no, less than a year. Less than a year, yeah. I'd say Halloween next I'm just Halloween. knowing that it's so low budget, it's going to take forever to shoot. No, not at all. We're gods on it. You should have seen the... If, yeah, if you GoPro people right now, seen the, the footage that we've been working on? It's Ooh, good. Boy. It's good. I've been playing the monsters, really getting in the mindset. This guy's been playing some crazy roles in this film, so you guys are going to have to see this. Hey, what's up everybody? So, here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. I'm actually just dropping off Sammy to get her nails fixed, really grown out. Either way, I don't know what she's going to do to try and keep the same nails throughout the film that we're making. But we came up with some ideas to try and make it so the, that it doesn't change too much over, over the course of the movie. Either way, what I was going to say while I started filming right now is that aside from individual events, like say a storage auction or a storage unit that we bought or a scrap haul or maybe potentially a house, um, that we're gonna clean out because we did get actually contacted by a, couple, a real estate office about some jobs that they may have coming up. So that could be really cool. We always enjoy doing um, the trash out jobs if they are worth it. If they're not, we just can't do it. But we have to judge a lot of things in those jobs and really, really look at it before you decide yes or no and based off of what they're paying or what they want done. Either way, what I'm saying is these videos, recently I've just been throwing together all the footage that we film and making just vlogs of our lives. And a lot of people, you know, from the response we've been getting, there's a lot of people that just like to view the daily routine of what we do. So today I'm going to be loading up all the scrap from the backyard into the trailer and if we can make it there before the end of today, we're gonna go to the scrapyard. And actually there's a water heater right here on the side. I might just throw that in this truck right now. Uh, might as well add to the accumulation if I'm gonna load the scrap. What's the point of not grabbing this water? I mean, get it off the side of the road and add it to the collection. 
here we got some good old-fashioned roadside scrap and actually that's some copper or brass there and that's some brass or copper there two little pieces at least and these things are really heavy which is good when you're scrapping but not good when you're trying to lift them oh yeah i'll throw this in just right along here and move some of the props out of the way this is pretty cool i don't know if i showed this last night but for one of the scenes we were at a location where there was no electricity and we needed a light to be shining up in the house and i bought this from autozone for nine dollars ten dollars well not this and it hooks into a cigarette lighter which hooks into here and literally look i'll just show it right now because i got it i got it it's good to go i can take it right all right man you got anything else all right thanks dude you just plug it in here and look you got a light so i thought that was a cool thing it does make a really loud noise i guess that's the fan cooling it but this little contraption you know you can bring out lighting to the set without having a generator because those are so expensive but yeah let's do this like this week coming up I actually think it's metal collection uh -oh. this week like in the next few days so there's a lot of scrap on the streets and since we're going to the yard I'm just gonna pick up some of it I don't really know what the metal looks like the price now because I haven't been in so long but I will let you guys know at the end of the video so this is where we're at I really thought this table was gonna sell I thought it was going to sell like the first day we got it. Not the first day, but soon after we got it, I thought. So all this mess of metal here is going to hit the road jack into the trailer. So, and potentially other stuff. So this is, ooh, how we're gonna do this. Start by just stacking it up here in the front. This is keep light. This is scrap life. And we'll just go from there and see how far we can get. I'm just gonna start a time lapse because I can't just film this whole process, it would be too much. So let's go. basically what's in here this is overkill for sure this trailer but it is what it is I'm using it so I loaded up all this light iron that is like the least valuable metal in the back of the truck trailer and then the water heater and that stuff's in the truck but these are like um, well some of this is copper and then these are all copper with aluminum around it but I should have cut it here cut it here so I have some strands of just straight copper and then the non ferrous that's what they call this stuff and that's the, the metal that's 
non-magnetic. So I have like some aluminum in here. My household wiring. This is like a roofing copper right here from a roof. And that's like straight copper. But these are like pots and pans. This is copper from like an air conditioner or something. So I'm just gonna throw that stuff in here and then do the non first first and then dump the trailer of all this other stuff after. So let me grab this Sawzall. I was thinking that this scrap load is not very big. It's not going to be a lot of money. It's more or less to get it out of the yard here. But I do think that there is people out there that make a lot of good money scrapping, even just street scrapping. If you're out there every day looking for stuff, if you got good connects, if you're pulling in lots of weight every day. Uh, you can make money scrapping. I know some people that make, you know, decent money as much as they would at a legitimate job, if not more. And, you know, it's hard on your body. That's the only thing. So. You want to hit up the scrap yard? Yeah. All right. I've let's... been there forever. Small scrap load with the wifey. Yeah. What you claiming? I claim it. I thought it was. Sun deceived me. Ooh, not you that. know what it like it's looks like? It's nice like warm, but it's like not that warm. Come on, babe. Put something babe. light on. Incredibly dead. Chilled out day at the scrapyard. And we're gonna go over here first. It's almost like are they even taking scrap? That's how it feels, right? Hmm. Like there's not even a machine there anymore. Been here for so long, we don't know what's going on. Let's we'll see what this guy says though. Yep, there's one of the legends right there that always comes here. So he knows. So usually we would go in first and dump the big, the light iron, but today we're just gonna put the other stuff off because it's in the same trailer. Oh no, I took the gloves out. But you can use- I have these uh, rubber gloves. The, yeah, right? Is that good? Yeah, it's fine. It's Gucci. All right, so here's what we're doing. Let's see if I can get these off. And then we're gonna just put the other scrap. Which is just literally these pieces, this container, and just the copper on the scale, and that's it. Yeah, I guess just throw these up on the scale, right?
one and then just this little guy and this So this is the small scale where you would put anything that's more valuable than just this. The copper. Dude, no, he's not gonna scrap that. Look at that car. Why would he do that? That's savage. That's sad, right? Hey, how are you? Oh shit, yeah. Yeah, put it up. In a, like a continuous motion. People always come and scrap the coolest stuff. I don't know why. Look at that. Sweet detour sign. It's gone now, gone with the wind. But uh, I like that, that's cool. I wouldn't have scrapped that. That detour sign? The detour sign. Would you have? Alright, we're just cruising into the scrap yard here. The local yard that's really close to our house. Changed a lot. They used to have a huge U pull it here and the scrap yard, the dump scrap dump was right here. Although they had mentioned in the past that they were getting complaints from the city that it, the pile was too high. So maybe they decided to just move it over there so you couldn't see it at all. That makes sense. And there's no more U pull it here either. Just weird. Oh, there it is. There's the car that the guy just scrapped here today. used to be a U-pull-it back here, but now they take them away. Same heavy crew, same people that I've seen here every time I used to come here. Still going strong. What is this all about? Just go, it's all out of there almost. Perfect. 
All right, all right, stop, stop. This guy's having fun here. Damn, I missed that. He just ripped it through that dirt puddle and all the mud and everything splurted up. That's a junk car that he's driving in. Craziness at the scrapyard. Always funny though. All right, so scrap prices are up compared to when I've been here before at nine cents a pound for light iron. That's the highest I've seen. Well, I don't know in four years i think it was so low so low last time i was here so that's a good sign they have this pretty the barcode facing up nifty touch the yellow line on the monitor uh system here basically an atm machine so all together i have the slips in my car and i'll tell you guys how much it was but yeah, it's scrapping, you know. Hold the receipt. The probably why none of it's on the street recently, because it's more profitable now than it's been in years. Copper's at copper two is at three dollars and eleven cents a pound. It even gives you change in here. All right, so pretty funny scenario at the scrapyard. This one guy. Well, there's a bunch of scavengers that hang out there. They bring scrap every day, but I think the guy's name is Barkus with a V. He kind of just like hangs out like a vulture and just waits for people to dump scrap so he can pull like the copper or whatever out of it and then take it to the other scale. He's bad boy. He's bad. He gets yelled at for it all the time. He's like but a bad child, but he's like twenty. <laughs> he's like as old as my dad. Yeah. A bad child. A bad child. Is so, irony aluminum was 28 cents a pound, and the low grade wiring, um, 53 cents a pound, and copper two was three dollars and 11 cents a pound, which is the highest I've seen in years. And what does that say? Nine. For this is for light iron. Nine cents, right? Yeah, yeah nine, nine cents, cents a pound. So yeah, it is up for sure. It did look weird though. Sixty-eight fifty, not bad. I think that's what we made. Sixty-eight fifty. Success. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And we just got back home, and no way. The delivery that we just are getting right now. No way. This is unreal stoke level. Hey. How you doing? What's up, man? How are you? Good. So my portion? Yeah, just put it right there. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Have a good one, dude. Thanks, you too. It came, the other baby came. All right, so we just got back home and we got the other delivery from this company that we're doing a collaboration with. And we are so stoked about this. It is probably the coolest product we've ever been sent. I could say 100% the best product, the most epic thing ever. Not gonna give it away gonna let it saturate and we're gonna release the video of us testing it out so wow stay stoked because this is real life are you excited yeah. who's she at <laughs> let's see her I'll just not put. is she excited she's a chicken she's trying to get out and try to pick her up are you excited about these new products very oh no you're a brat stay so tuned for the next excited. video because it's going down oh girl <laughs> <laughs>